everybody so I'm coming at you today with a video and seeing as 2016 is winding down I decided let me do a video on the my 2016 best and worst trends no this is gonna be kind of beauty related fashion related video because I mean of course that's the majority of my channel so I hope that you enjoy if you haven't already, go ahead and click that red button right there that says subscribe and subscribe to my channel. If you are a subscriber already, welcome back and everybody enjoy this video. So this is in no particular order. I went ahead and I compiled a list on my phone and I'm just going to go ahead and get into what I consider to be the best and worst trends for 2016. So let's talk about waist trainers. Now tell me what? What is the point of a waist trainer? You're gonna stuff yourself, and I'm not talking about uh, a particular size or whatever. Regardless of size, you're gonna stuff your stomach inside of like this casing. You can't breathe. You can't. You can't bend down. You can't be comfortable. How are you gonna go and eat? With that on your stomach. How you can do anything with that on your stomach? It just looks so uncomfortable. And I am pretty sure it's very impractical. Regardless of what people say. And they say like, oh it's comfortable. You're going to look slim. You're going to look trim. You're going to look whatever. That can't be practical. It can't be practical. It can't be healthy. It can't be safe. And this one has come out like pretty, pretty recently. Is these fur nails. I mean... Oh, I don't even think I have the words for that. You see, I, I at a complete loss. I mean, what next are you going to put on your nose? You're walking around with like fur on your nose. What, you're an animal? Hey, what, what is the logic behind it? You want to keep your nails warm for winter? Somebody help me understand, please. And another one is that highlighter trick tip whatever that everybody wants to be doing walking around looking like Rudolph the gold nose reindeer is like a big exclamation mark on your nose it's just like and then a dot and for some people it's subtle and it looks nice but then some people just go overboard and it's just a big dot right there on the tip of your nose and everything is pointing to your nose and some people some people they don't need the attention there and another one is these fake freckles. Now, before you go get me wrong, if you have freckles, they are beautiful. Don't let anybody tell you that they're not. They're beautiful. Okay? But these fake freckles that people are doing is like, some people just got like this big brown, and some of them, they just don't look good. It's just like these big brown spots on your face, and I'm here like... So another trend, this one is fashion related. It's these shoes, these heels with the clear heels. No, I know when I was younger, I had a pair of slippers and I love those slippers. They had a clear heel and they kind of match with like everything and anything. But no, I am sorry. When I see them, I just think stripper shoes. I just keep it at 100. I think stripper shoes when they see them do that clear like plastic heel and then along with that is these shoes with the what they're made out of PVC they look like PVC like clear PVC and I'm just thinking now when you put your foot in that shoe you walk around your foot is gonna sweat so all up in there gonna be slipping and sliding and full of sweat and everything I don't know how practical they are but they just look strange to me. They just look weird to me. So another fashion related beauty trend is chokers. Now chokers are nothing new. But this year they just like sprang back into the fashion being. I don't know. Everybody's wearing a choker now. I even did a video with chokers. I love chokers. They look cute. They look nice. I like them. If y'all watch my videos, you know that I just do a little something something with my baby hairs. But some people just go around. I mean, they ain't even taking baby hairs. They're taking like the hair 
from the middle of their head and they just swooping it forward. That's not baby hair. It does not look good. It doesn't look natural. Who came up with this trend of exaggerating baby hair? So, these septum piercings. If y'all know, I like piercings. I got a few. I like them. But these fake ones, like, I hate to see them. I hate to absolutely see them. If you want to get the piercing done, go ahead and do it. I am not a particular fan of the piercing, personally, but that's just me. But if you want to wear the piercing, get it done. I mean, everybody does, you know what they remind me of? Those magnetic earrings that I would have as a child. Like, you know, you got your ear pierced, but you want to uh, pretend that you have a second hole or see what it looks like if you have a second uh, piercing. Or for the boys, the fellas, that they have the ears pierced at all and they want to you know see what it look like with a person and be thin at the cool that's exactly what those fake septum piercings remind me of those are magnetic earrings that i would get as a child making your face with baby powder there are so many different shades complexions ethnicities everything under the spectrum one product that can work for one skin shade it cannot work for another one I don't care what you tell me, baby powder is white, okay? Look at me, I am black. You wanna tell me, I am gonna put baby powder on my face. White baby powder on my face, leave it on to bake, and then I wipe it off, and I look like normal? No. I gonna be looking wrong, looking ashy as hell. Looking like Casper the Friendly Ghost. So another trend, and this one I am completely on board with, this is a hair trend, is crochet braids. Now crochet braids have been in existence way before 2016, but 2016 has been the year of crochet braids. I mean, you have so many different types of hair that you can crochet into your hair. It is amazing. From locks to... Um, just bulk hair, different twists, different styles, crochet braids, this year has just exploded. Everybody, everybody, I mean even right now my mother and my sister are wearing crochet braids. Everybody, well not me, but everybody else is wearing crochet braids. So another hair related trend for 2016 was faux locks. It is not pronounced fox. If I hear somebody pronounce that fox one more time, oh my goodness. Four. Four is French. Four locks and goddess locks. No. I think it was Megan Good that really got the goddess locks look going. But yeah, four locks and goddess locks too, along with crochet braids, have been, yeah, high on the list for 2016. So I don't know if this is specific to 2016, but I've been seeing it a lot. Is these rip jeans and when I say rip I mean it's basically like you had on a pair of jeans and you got mauled by a dog so I really hope that you enjoyed this video this quick little wrap up in terms of beauty and fashion for 2016 and the trends that I think were a thumbs up and the trends that I think were a thumbs down if you have any um, suggestions or you can think of any trends which you either really like or you really dislike that I didn't include in this video go ahead and leave it in the comments below I would love to see whatever discussions or ideas or thoughts that you guys come up with so I really hope that you enjoyed this video if you have please don't forget to give it a massive thumbs up and if you haven't already click my face right there and subscribe to my channel so until next time bye bye